All right, so we can make some progress towards Eterna Forest. We do have a... Oh, hello, berries. I completely forgot. It's been a day, so we can actually harvest all the berries we planted. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way down to... Um... Oh, wait. These are, are these the first berries I've actually planted? No, wait. Never mind. There are some berries near the berry uh, house, berry shop. What's it called? I'm going to call it the berry shop. Orange berries and... What are you? Patea berries. Yeah, give me them too. Thank you. Cool. Oh, we can get free berry inside, can't we? Please give me a citrus berry because I actually would grow those. Oh, never mind. Okay, completely worthless. I don't really care about those. Um, So, we're going to make some progress. To oh, actually, no, we're not. First, before we go to a turn of, a turn of forest, let's go buy some supplies. There's one thing that I really want in here. Um, actually, let's get like two more potions, sure. Um, oh, I've got, okay, I've got plenty of super potions. Let's buy like four more of those. We've got like so much money. Uh, plenty of antidotes. Paralyzed heals fine. Maybe like, let's buy like two awakenings. We might need that. Uh, burn heal. There's, there's no fire Pokemon in Sinnoh. We won't need burn heals. And ice heals won't need those until we get to the very, very north of the map. Uh, I want, oh, oh, I've got 10 repels already. Okay, never mind. Let's just buy a couple more. Because we are going to need them when we go to Eterna Forest. So, what I've done in between episodes is I have taken off Weasel from my team and replaced it with Blitzy. Only because uh, I have three water Pokemon on my team. Kyvern, Valor, who's close to evolving. We didn't need three water Pokemon. And out of all the water Pokemon, between Kyvern and Pixel, yeah, Kyvern should stay. Kyvern's much cooler. So, we're going to head up to Eterna Forest here. I've battled you. Yep, battled you. Perfect. And there should be a hiker. Oh, okay, you don't want to battle. Have I battled you? I don't think I've battled you. Um, She's going to be an aroma trainer, so we should probably put motion out in front. Oh, hang on. I had an idea as well between episodes. I'm going to take the uh, scope off you and give you... The Soothe Bell, because if we just start leveling up your friendship now, um, when you eventually evolve into a Golbat, in fact, let's walk with you as well. You'll walk together with Motion. Yeah, Motion, look at you go. We We level up your friendship with walking around with you and having the Soothe Bell. When you become a Golbat, you'll pretty much instantly go ahead and turn into a Crobat. I love Pokemon that smell sweet, like this one. Get a whiff of this. I don't want to smell your Pokemon weirdo. What do you want about? Aroma Lady Elizabeth. Okay. <gasps> Chikorita! Oh, I love Chikorita. Chikorita is so cute. Uh, let's kill it. Let's go ahead and hit it with a Poison Fang. Wow, it actually survived. So if we can get Motion to evolve into a... Actually, I don't know what level you evolve into a Golbat. It's got to be like 24, 25-ish, I think. Yeah, if we can get you into a Golbat and then get your... Or if we can get your friendship to max before you evolve into a Golbat. As soon as you evolve into a Golbat, we can then evolve you into a Crobat. If we can get a Crobat for the third gym, we are going to be set. 100%. Ooh, Bulbasaur. Uh, you can stay out. You've got a flying type move. Especially when the next gym is a Grass Gym. So we're going to need Flying type Pokemon, Poison type Pokemon, Fire type Pokemon, and Ice type Pokemon. So, and Bug. I guess Bug 2 as well. So yeah, those uh, motions going to be very, very important. We're going to obviously have to get uh, Charmeleon up, I think. But we'll see how this goes. Perfect. You defeat Aroma Lady Elizabeth. I don't understand. What? You didn't... Did you understand what I meant? Didn't my Pokemon smell nice? No. I mean, one of them did. Bulbasaur, not so much. Bulbasaur smells like... I don't know, what would Bulbasaur smell like? It's a frog. It's a grass frog that seeps poison. I feel like Bulbasaur would smell like really, like, moldy. 
Yeah, it'd be really moldy and ugh. Whatever. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what's your health looking like, Motion? I didn't check. Uh, you know what? You're like just a little bit under 10. Have a have an orange berry. We just farmed a bunch, so you can take that. Perfect. Uh, hello. It's a long way between Floroma Town and Eternal City, so let's battle. Uh, as long as you don't kill my Pokemon, sure. Zachary? It's an Apom! Hello, Apom. I love Apom. I love all of the Gen 4. Like, Gen 4 to me, Gen 4 definitely isn't among my top favorite gens. Um, but the cross-gen evolutions they added to this, I absolutely adore. And I really like that Generation 9 continued with that. Where it was like, okay, uh, Gen 4, they add Pokemon like Tengrowth, Licky Licky, Electivire, Magmortar. Um, ooh, that's a lot of damage. Really? Well, thankfully, we can uh, kill it here. You know, they added a bunch of evolutions to Pokemon that didn't have evolutions. And I really like that. I don't think every Pokemon should have an evolution. But Generation 9 continued that. Where you've got Pokemon like Annihilate from Primeape. You've got Pokemon like Farafarig from Giraffic Giraffarig. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, um, King... Uh, what? what? I don't know what it's called now. Bishop's Evolution? King Gambit. King Gambit from uh, Bishop. It, it's just so cool. I really like it. And I guess you have Pokemon as, as well from Apom. Uh, you can stay out, I think. You're fine. I guess you have Pokemon from Legends Arceus, which I guess technically is Gen 8, where they have, you know, um... Ursa Luna, Weirdeer, you know, Cleavor, Pokemon like that, they are kind of leaning a lot more recently into those kind of evolutions. Like, even Generation 8 itself, Sword and Shield, had cross-gen evolutions, like Surfetched. Which I guess is technically like, and Mr. Rhyme, they're like regional evolutions, but they're still evolutions of original Pokemon. So they're, they're being really kind of cool about it. Also, Valor is going to evolve. You got to level 20. Hell yeah. Uh, Charge Beam. That's a special attacking move. Yeah. Ooh, 90 accuracy, though. Um, I thought you were a physical attacker. You've only got 25 attack. All right, get rid of Spark, then. Uh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Valor grew to level 20. Wah, 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 I'm at a Pokemon that can battle. Here we go. We're going to get Valor to evolve. Hell yeah. And you better be good. You, you stole one of my catches. I could have got a really cool Pokemon like Alolan Diglett from that cave. Instead, we ended up with a Magikarp. So, Valor here better be good. Valor better be good. I am predicting good things for you. You're a cool Gyarados and all. Gyarados is the atrocious Pokemon. Once Gyarados appears, that its rage never settles until the Pokemon has raised the fields and mountains around it. You want to learn Bite? Okay, yeah, you can learn Bite. Perfect. Let's get rid of... I mean, you got Splash, Flail, and Tackle. Alright, get rid of Flail. That's fine. There we go. Perfect. In fact, we probably need to give you a Water move. So let's give you um, Water Pulse. Perfect. Uh, we can get rid of Splash, that's fine. There we go. Um, no one else needs to learn it. You got Raw, Bullet Seed, Hidden... Ooh, you... Oh, let's give you Hidden Power as well. Yeah, let's give you Hidden Power. Uh, get rid of Tackle. Don't need that. Perfect. Uh, motion's taking a bit of damage, so you know what? Let's switch motion out for Valor. I think Valor... Oh, let's get your item off you as well. I keep forgetting I can do this now, where I can just... Um, swap items out like this. Um, where's my... Uh, where's my scope lens? Where did I put the scope lens? Uh, is it in my bag again? Oh, it is in my bag again, okay. 
Oh, that's right. I swapped it from, from motion. That's right. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we got Blitzy, Diamond, Blood Moon, and Kyvan. Uh, it should be Kyvan, but Kyvan. Still on the team. Oh, hello. Okay, perfect. Of all possible places, I've lost my way here. Well, that was a uh, very good timing to get a Gyarados as we're about to fight a rock type trainer. Ooh, it's a Shellos. Okay, never mind. Not really um gonna be good with that water pulse, are you, Gyarados? But that's fine. You can probably just, what, bite this thing to death? Okay, it'll take two bites. Never mind, it's going to take three bites now. But you know what? That's fine. Bite it again. Yep, not enough. Ooh, hidden power. Ah, uh, you can take it. That's no problem for you. Perfect. And look how big Gyarados is compared to that Shellos. I really like the mod here that scales Pokemon appropriately. Ooh, Onyx. Ah, uh, you can stay out. You should be able to outspeed Onyx here. Perfect. Don't have Sturdy. Did not have Sturdy. Perfect. Perfect. Bye bye, Onyx. Having lost the way, a trainer lost the battle too. Uh, let's go ahead and heal you just a little bit if we're going to go fight another trainer here. Perfect. Oh, six points. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go and hello. Hello. Nope. Hello. There we go. Hey, I'm not I'm not trained to hold back. Don't tell me that. I don't want my Pokemon to die to you. I mean, you're going to be fighting types. So I don't think we've got much to worry about. The Gyarados. Oh wait, Gyarados has... <gasps> Gyarados has bounce still! Amazing. Amazing, Gyarados. Okay, can you just bounce and kill all three of her Pokemon here? Perfect, there we go. Imagine being, like, just, like, hiking, and just all of a sudden you just see a Gyarados shoot into the sky and come crashing down in the distance. You're like, what the hell was that? Cool, Blitz agree to level 20. Mankey, you can stay out. You can stay out, buddy. Let's go ahead and bounce you up into the sky. Goodbye. Ooh, Retaliate. Okay, that was not good. Retaliate does more damage if you use it the turn after a Pokemon faints, but I guess we don't really need to really worry about that, do we? You're going to set up Meditite. Meditite. Yeah, Meditite. Yeah, stay out. Fine. Have you bounce again? There we go. Oh, really? You had to use Endure? Really? All right, well, fair enough then. <laughs> you paralyzed it. Amazing. Okay. You know what? Just bite it then. Really? Two indoors in a row? Really? Really, Meditate? You're just trying to waste my PP here? There we go. Cool, and motion grew to level 20. I don't know what the level cap is at the moment. Ooh, quick guards. Uh, no, you're fine. You don't need it. Don't know what it does, but you don't need it. I can see you're in a different class. What? Blitzy evolves? Oh, okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know Blitzy evolved. I only put Blitzy on the team because I was like, I'm going to need a backup Pokemon just in case these guys die. <laughs> that actually worked out really well. Cool. Blitzy evolved into Metang. Metang is the Iron Claw Pokemon. It's formed by two Beldum joining together. Its steel body won't be scratched if it collides with a jet. Let's see once learn Metal Claw. Should the move be forgotten? Um. Yeah, I suppose so. We can get rid of Takedown. We don't really need Takedown, do we? You learn Metal Claw instead. Perfect. And you want to learn Confusion. That's a special attack. Um. 
Oh, it's only 50 power? As opposed to that being 80 power? Yeah, no, never mind. I'm not getting rid of iron defense. Iron defense is too valuable on you. There's another repel. Perfect. We're going to need that. Um, Let's... Who's lower level? You know what, Blood? Yeah, Blood Moon, you can go out in front. Um, I guess motion is kind of weak. I don't really want to risk motion here. We can just heal for free in the house. You seem a bit tired. Rest a while. Cool. You and your Pokemon look completely refreshed. You think you can get free to turn a forest by yourself? Yeah, yeah, I really do. I really do. There should be an item here. Perfect. Super potion. Uh, is there a hidden item around here? Nope. I can't remember that. I think there's another trainer around here. Oh, is it? Which one is it? Is it you? Yes, okay. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there was one more trainer here. It's either going to be her or the bug dude. He's an out of Piplop! Okay. Well, good thing Blood Moon's out in front now. Mind you, Blood Moon or Diamond would have been... Actually, no, wait. No, I was going to say Blood Moon or Diamond would have been good to, to lead, but Diamond doesn't actually have any grass moves, does it? Because it's not a grass type, it's just pure bug. Or bug normal? I'm not too sure. Uh, just charge beam it. Really? Really? Oh my god, how do you take that much damage from a bubble? Oh, it's got 90 accuracy, that's why. Okay, shockwave. Perfect. There we go. You're going to send out Chimchar. Okay, yep, you got to come out. Let's go for Valor. Oh, I could have I could have gone for Kyven, honestly. Kyven would have been fine. We haven't really used Kyven. Hey, Chimchar, guess what? I'm afraid, buddy, I'm going to have to uh, blast you in the face. Wow, it survived. Really? Okay, okay, whatever. Water pulse. Perfect. Bye, bye. Diamond grew to level 20 now, so it's just Blood Moon and Kyven that are lower. String shot. No, you don't need to learn string shots. Oh, boo, how insulting. Oh, okay. Hey, Diamond gets to evolve. Amazing. Perfect. Again, didn't really know that Diamond evolved here either. I really should have checked the levels of my Pokemon and when they evolve because two shock evolutions. But hey, I'm not going to complain again about getting a Moffin. That's going to be good for the next gym. Being what, Bug Flying? Yeah, Bug Flying. The Moth Pokemon. It loves the nectar of flowers and steals nectar collected by Combi. You want to learn... Oh, String Shot. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Don't get to learn String Shot. Oh, you want to learn Gust. Okay, yeah, you can learn Gust. At least that's a stab move for you. Get rid of... Um, uh, tackle. Sure. There we go. Oh, you want an equivalent as well? Okay. Um, isn't that really good? Boost special attack, special defense, and speed. Oh, yes. Let's get rid of um, Bug Bite. Bug Bite's cool, but you're not a physical attacker. And very rarely do like important battles have like berries and stuff. All right, let's heal. Actually, maybe I should take like a po some Pokemon off the team here. Because Diamond's now evolved. Um, oh, there we go. You and your Pokemon look completely refreshed. Uh, we still need to get Blood Moon to level up. Uh, Kyphon also needs to level up. We take Valor or Diamond off the team. You know, what, I'm gonna take Diamond off the team for sure. But who do I put on? Um. Um. Who have we not really used? I guess we're going into a forest. We don't want water type Pokemon. So Lara and Ethan can't come. Mars and CC can't come. 
Larissa could be an option. Um, yeah, Nugget, you know what? You can come on. I like you, Nugget. You can come on. Uh, let's get rid of the Miracle Seed for the... Yeah. You keep hold of that, buddy. You can have the Expert Belt just to do some extra damage from... I don't, I don't even know. Like, fake outs, I guess? <laughs> oh, wait. It's only super effective. Never mind. Maybe you shouldn't have this. Maybe we should swap that for... Um, you know what? Fine. Keep it. Keep it. Do extra damage from your... Um, your Mega Drains. All right. Let's see. Hello. Many poison-type Pokemon make a turn of forest their home. But I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or do I go back? You should press home. You, 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 no, press, uh, go back, sorry, not press home. Uh, oh, that's right, we can't go this way. Hi, there's currently a swarm of Beedrill attacking people on this route. They ask you to travel through the forest until it's resolved. I can't stand Beedrill. <laughs> hey kid, we can't let you pass because you might get stung by a, a scary, angry Beedrill. Go through this dangerous forest full of, like, poison-type Pokemon. Hey, there's a whole swarm of Beedrill here in this honey tree. Me and my buddies are going to catch them all. We're going to be the best, like no one ever was. You should probably stay out the way. Uh, I'll just like, get past. I mean, why is she allowed over there? Excuse you. Why is she allowed over there? I'm not. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Let's see. Yeah, Blood Moon, whatever. You can lead. Because when we go into here, we will run into... Uh, that I don't remember the name of. I know it begins with like a CH. Is it like Clara? Cheryl? Uh, I don't actually know. It's either Clara or Cheryl. It definitely begins with a C. But essentially, when we go and oops, when we go and speak to her, if I don't run out the forest, she should want to come on a journey with us. Oh, it is Cheryl. Okay. Hello, my name is Cheryl, and you are. Okay, so your name is Mickey. Mickey, are you a strong trainer? Yes, I am. Would you like some help getting through the forest? Sorry to be so sudden, but we- What? What? Wait, you have to battle her? I didn't know that she had to- What? Oh, I didn't know this was a battle. I knew from playing the original Gen 4s that you have to go through the forest with her and do double battles. And she's got a Drifloon? I mean, maybe that's not too bad because Blood Moon's leading, but... Really? Oh, this is going to be an important battle. Uh, I was not prepared for this. Um, I guess we should... Shockwave because it's a stab at least. Oh, that's so much damage. And not enough to kill. Okay. Uh, you got to come out, buddy. Let's go with... Um... Actually, who can come out and take a Hex? Hex is a special attacking move. 22, 23. Ooh, 44. Ooh. 23, 43. You know what? Bella can come out then. Hell yeah. I didn't know that you had to battle her. The reason we stocked up on repels is because I don't want to run into wild Pokemon. So when you run into wild Pokemon while traveling with her, you always get double battles from the random Pokemon in the grass. Uh, you know what? Just water pulse. It's fine. Wait, what? Sh what? <gasps> what? Oh, this is not going to be a good battle for me, is it? Oh, okay. Wilma. Um. I suppose Nugget? Um. Yeah, when you want to run into wild Pokemon while traveling with her, they go into double battles. The problem is in double battles is that I can't control her and she can just kill the Pokemon. So, we're going to use repels to make sure we don't run into what. Why did I not use fake out there? We're going to use repels to make sure that we don't run into wild Pokemon. And then, ooh, water pulse. You can take a water pulse. Good, good. Really? You had to get confused from that, though? 
yeah, we'll use repels. Make sure we don't run into wild Pokemon and do have to be do a double battle. Um, you know, I don't trust that you won't just die here, buddy. Take a potion. Uh, and then once we get to the very end when we leave her, then we'll turn around and catch two Pokemon. But I really want to avoid missing out on catching a Pokemon by having her just kill the Pokemon. Uh, Mega Drain. <gasps> Roll out! Oh! Oh, that's not good. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Really? Really? Okay, let's use a super potion on you. Can't believe you, Nugget. Can't believe you. There's another rollout. That's so much damage, and that was a crit. <sighs> I think you've got to come out. Um, I guess Blitzy's got to come out. You've got the most physical defense of all my Pokemon. And I can always put down an iron defense as well. Perfect, look at that. Uh, you know what, actually just... Iron Head. There's another rollout, that's the fourth rollout. Quite a bit of damage. Not a lot of damage. Uh, it's going to be the last rollout, so let's go ahead and use a potion. Just because I don't want you to take a fifth rollout on, like, not full health. Because this is going to do so much damage. Yep, look at that. So much damage. Uh, take another potion. If it uses a rollout again, we can probably kill it with an iron head before it does too much damage to us. No, nope, water pulse. Okay, you can't really take water pulses too well, but... And a mist. What does mist even do? I don't actually know what mist does, so... Um... Iron Head. Water Pulse. Ooh, 11 HP. I should... I, I really should have just Iron Defensed. I don't know why I didn't Iron Defense, but... That's fine. Kyvan grew to level 20. One of the Magnitudes. Um... I mean, Mud Bomb is 65 power, whereas that's... Random? But it's 85 accuracy. I guess we can get rid of Water Gun at the very least? Sure. How many Pokemon did she have? Makuhita! Um... I guess Motion can come out and Wing Attack it to death? Sure. Makuhita. Uh, wing attack, please. Oh, not enough to kill. That's not good. There's a knockoff. Quite a bit of damage, and there goes the Soothe Bell. But you can probably just kill it with wing attack. Yeah, you can. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I remember in the original game, she had a Chansey that would heal your party. I guess her ace... Ooh, Waterfall. I'm guessing your ace is prob... Uh, you're a physical attacker. You know what? Yeah, get rid of Water Pulse then. You don't need Water Pulse. Yeah, she's going to have a chance to use her ace, I'm guessing, here. No, get greed level 19. Yep, there we go, a chance to. Okay. I don't actually know who I can... I guess Kyvan can come out, maybe... Hmm. You know what, Blitzy, you can come out. I was thinking Hyven can come out, but the problem with Chansey is that it can have takedown, and it can just do a ton of damage to us. I would rather get Blitzy out and then heal you. We can see what Chansey's got then. And if it's just going to hit physical moves... Thunderbolt! What?! Really? Okay. I mean, technically, Kyvan could have been fine. Then again, what other moves does it have? What are you weak to anyway? Grass? I think you're only weak to grass at this point. Being water ground. You know what? Um, 
Let's... Iron Head. Oh my god, you're faster too? Perfect. <gasps> you made it flinch! Good job, buddy! Hopefully you don't get paralyzed if it's Thunderbolts again. Really? Soft boiled? Really? Okay. Iron Head again. Thunderbolt. You can take Thunderbolts, which is fine. As long as you don't get paralyzed, you can hopefully hit it and flinch it. No, you can't. She is just going to keep spamming soft boils and recover all the health that she uh, loses. Come on. <laughs> Stop healing! Only I'm allowed to cheese and heal. Are you kidding me? Okay, Iron Head again. I need to get like a crit, don't I? Unless I... And now I'm paralyzed, and uh, now I'm not going to be able to move faster to make it flinch. So let's paralyze heal you. She's going to soft boiled anyway. Yep, soft boiled. There you go. Do I have any like X, X attacks? No, I've got a die hit. Ooh, that boosts the critical hit ratio. Yeah, take a die hit. Take drugs. <laughs> Target and uh, destroy. Really? Really? <sighs> you know what? Let's heal you. Let's heal you. Then we'll paralyze heal you. And then we'll go back to hitting Iron Heads. Because if we're not faster than Chansey, Chansey is just going to... You know what? Let's... Whatever. Let's risk it. We might be able to do enough damage from like two crits in a row. Never mind. We got to paralyze heal you. We might be able to do enough damage from like two crit iron heads to kill. That's what I'm hoping here. Or if you can flinch it. That was a crit. Didn't flinch. That's okay. Come on, flinch it, flinch it. Flinch it or kill it. Flinch it or kill it. No. Yeah! Good job, buddy. Finish it with an iron head. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh, okay. Well, I uh, clearly need to uh, remember Gen 4 a lot more than I currently remember it because I didn't realize you battled her. Striking the right balance of offense and defense. It's not easy to do. Miki, may I ask a big favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. But on the bat we just had, I can see you're a strong trainer. I've heard there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? Oh, I don't even get to say no? Oh, okay. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Return of Forest, where time stands still. Whoa. Whoa. What is happening here with, like, the just teleporting? My Pokemon got poisoned and now it can't battle. I knew I should have loaded up with antidotes. Ooh, okay, let's... Oh, you're my strongest... Po Actually, you know what? Uh, actually, yeah, Motion can go out in front because it's my strongest Pokemon. I don't want Valor out in front just in case we do get into a battle. Um, and what I want to do is I want to use the Repel. Perfect. All right. Like I said, we're not going to cheat and use the Infinite Repel. And that's only if I ever have to backtrack. Because that will just stop Pokemon forever. Actually, I don't, I think it is still based off level. So you still can run into Pokemon if they are stronger than you. But I'm hoping this means we don't run into any wild Pokemon if we have to enter any grass. And I'm going to avoid grass as much as possible. Oh, look, there's the uh, Moss Rock. We could have uh, got a Leafy on here. All right. Um, there's a double battle there. Let's just... I suppose I may as well go to do the double battles, shouldn't I? Um, Motion, you can come out for uh, Nugget, I guess. Yeah, Nug uh, actually, if they've got bug Pokemon, you're quad weak to bug. Blood Moon, you can come out in front. Let's have a look. Hello. What's cool, you might ask? No, I'll tell you anyway, bug Pokemon. We're just out on a power walk. You're not walking, though. What do you want about? Jack and Brianna. 
Ooh, Suskit and Baneri. Okay. I remember in this forest I actually got a few shiny Baneris when I played Pokemon Shining Pearl. Uh, okay, Shockwave, uh, Suskit. Immediately. As long as they just keep going for her Pokemon over mine, I'm fine with that. The issue is, if I run into wild Pokemon, I can't control what she does. She will just kill wild Pokemon. You want to learn Torment? Uh, no, you're fine. Razor Wind? Uh, you're fine. Air Cutter? Okay, not too bad. Harris? Uh, I'm going to Shockwave Benary because she'll probably Air Cutter again and kill Paris in one hit, so I'd rather do a bunch of damage to Baneri and it survived because of Indoor. Yep, Paris is dead. Baneri lived, but that's okay. You just, oh, you got three Pokemon, okay. Um, Just Shockwave Venonat then. Venonat took the kind offer. Ben and I use Stun Spore. Good. Not going for me. Actually, it's probably not good for me, actually, because that means that... Never mind. You hit the air cutter anyway. Hell yeah. You see, look at that. She has a move that hits both Pokemon. Meaning, if I run into a wild Pokemon with her, she's just going to kill them in one hit. I mean, it's going to just be bug Pokemon in here and, like, Benary. So I was, like, 100% prepared. I was like, I know... We're going to have to take her through the forest. I know she is going to kill wild Pokemon, and I don't want to miss out on catching Pokemon. So, stock up on repels, get through the forest, get rid of her, then we can catch Pokemon. If I do run into something, I have to pray that uh, basically she doesn't kill them both. But I won't get a choice, she'll kill one of them at the very least. It would seem that coolness alone doesn't add up to any wins. Ooh, nasty, this forest is full of bug Pokemon. I also forgot to buy antidotes. It's just the worst thing ever. Yep, let's use another one. Again, I don't really mind wasting them. Ooh, you're two psychic trainers, aren't you? Um, do you have bite? You do have bite. Okay, that's fine. You can stay in the lead. Hello. I see it. I see it. I see you're going down in defeat. When a trainer in Pokemon Bond is one, a wondrous power is born. Why are you guys so weird? Why is the screen black? Why why was that so long on a black screen? That's not a good sign. Okay, Spoink and Slowpoke. Uh we can just shockwave Slowpoke. Perfect. She has, what is it, Shockwave herself? Actually, that won't do anything against Blink, will it? Oh, Ominous Wind. Okay, perfect. You've got a Ghost-type move. Of course you have a Ghost-type move. You're a, you're a Ghost-type trainer. I mean, Ghost-type Pokemon, Miki. What are you, why are you so stupid? Natu. Okay, if we can hit a Shockwave on Natu, we can kill it in one hit. Good job, Blood Moon. And Ominous Wind again. There goes Splink. Perfect. Slowly leveling them up. We're not getting a whole lot of XP for the for the battles, really, are we? Drowsy? Okay. Um, if she air cutters, she can probably kill Execute. So let's bite Drowsy. Nope, never mind. No biting Drowsy. Air cutter. Wow, Execute survives as well. Headbutt. Ooh, okay. And Confusion. Okay, that's fine. Um, we move faster. So, we sh she should be able to kill Execute with Air Cutter, and I should be able to do enough damage that Drowsy dies to Air Cutter. No, it survived! It's going to headbutt me again. If it gets a crit, we're dead. You better not go for me. You better not go for me. You're gonna go for me, though. <gasps> Inflinged! Oh my god! Wow, 
Drowsy! Thank you for flinching, buddy. It saw the execute die and it was like, I, I don't want to hit, I don't want to hit Pokemon. Ugh. Ominous Wind, it failed, cool. I'm going to send out Baltoy. Uh, I'm going to switch you just for um, Bella. Just because it can have ground type moves, it's a ground psychic. What is this camera angle game? Ominous Wind didn't kill it. Rock Tomb. Okay, never mind, it didn't go for me. Uh, Blood Moon could have stayed out. But doesn't really matter. Go ahead and waterfall. Whoa, that's a very cool animation. Have I never seen that before? It is I that have gone down in defeats. Hmm. There are still many mysteries yet to be solved in this strange world. The old chateau lies abandoned with none of living in its walls. And yet, and yet, the parameters that permeates a presence. Not parameters, what am I about? Don't run into a Pokemon. Okay, we can battle two more bug trainers. Um, if motion can lead. I mean, actually, realistically, let's... I'm going to take off... Nugget. And I'm going to put on... Actually, who has... You've got the XP share. Leo can come on for Nugget. Leo can just get XP in the background. I think we're fine with these guys. Here comes the swarm! My senses tingle. I've spotted a rare Pokemon. Yeah, it's uh, it's a Zubat. It's really, really rare. It's actually a cool Zubat. Nincada and Combi. Okay. Out of all of those, Air Cutter should just be able to kill both of them. But we'll do some extra damage to Nincada just in case. Never mind, she's faster. Never mind. Okay, Combi was the actual survivor. That's fine. We should be able to outspeed Combi. And we should be able to um, just kind of kill it here. Nope, we are slower. Okay. That's just my evasive. Yeah, evasiveness. That's fine. So Leo will just get XP in the background as we go through this. I probably should have just put Leo on my team, like, immediately. There we go, you already gained one level. I don't know what level you evolve, but you want to learn Helping Hand. Nope. You don't get a help. Ooh, Beedrill. Okay. Ooh, and Dustox. Okay, we are going to go for the Beedrill. 100% we're going to go for the Beedrill. Beedrill is a lot scarier than Dustox. Um, you were supposed to lead with uh, Toxic Spikes, buddy. Not have it as your second Pokemon. Ooh, that's actually uh, not a lot of damage. Oh, okay, never mind. It wasn't my move. It was Air Cutter. Perfect. Okay, so they'll be able to finish off Beedrill. You set up a double Toxic Spikes, really? Oh. For some reason, I was like, oh, she set up double Toxic Spikes because Dustox is going to have Whirlwinds. No. No, it didn't. Could have had Whirlwind and forced our Pokemon out, so then we have to send out new Pokemon that then just get poisoned immediately. Ooh, Leech Life! Uh, no, you're fine. Don't need to know Leech Life. Leo grew to level 14. Wing Attack should finish off Dust Tox. Perfect. Leo grew to level 16! Hell yeah. You want to learn Roar? You guys don't need to learn Roar. You've got Howl. I've to 22. You want to rest? Um. Yeah, get rid of magnitude. Whatever. It's fine. We'll keep mud shot for now, I suppose. Oh, you want to learn snore too? No. Leo grew to 16. You want to learn magical leaf? Perfect. You've actually got a move now. Let's give you, um, get rid of leafage. Perfect, perfect! Whoa! Wah, 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 wah! <gasps> yes! 
You get to evolve motion! Wow, this episode's just been full of evolutions. Hopefully, your friendship is max or near enough max that we can get you to evolve into a crowbat before hitting level cap. Golbit is the bat Pokemon. It loves the blood of humans and Pokemon. It flies around at night in search of neck veins. You want to learn Crunch? Ooh, yes, you can definitely have Crunch. I think that's going to be a really good move for you. More than Bite. I kind of want to keep Confuse Ray on you unless we get a really better move. Because uh, Confusing Pokemon is actually very, very handy. Uh, let's hope we don't run into a Pokemon. Thank you. There's a Potion. Let's just get out of here as well. There's maybe... Yep, yeah, use one more. It's fine. In forests and caves, there are many items on the ground that can't be seen. Oh, that's right. I can. That's why you have to use this, right? I mean, it really just kind of sucks compared to, like, the original one. Like, having it on the bottom screen was actually worthwhile. Uh, we're going to avoid that tr those trainers. Is there, like, one more pair of trainers we have to face? I can't remember. Oh no, this is the end! There's the exit! I'm so relieved we finally got there! I never would have been able to go through this without by myself. Thank you so much, Miki. It's my token of appreciation. What what is it though? Low sweep. Uh not really worth it. All right, well, we are running late on this episode now, so we don't actually have time to catch the wild Pokemon just yet. But we can actually get four Pokemon just in this forest, two from the grass and two from the old chateau before we go into Eterna City. So uh, we're going to do that next time.